What's up, y'all? This is your girl, Megan. Welcome back to the Hood Astro Queen, to all of my returning subscribers. However, if this is your first time on my page on today, be sure to hit that subscribe button because, you know, you want to. Also, I've been kind of backed up with readings, but I do have a few availabilities open, okay? A few slots open, so if you're interested in booking a reading, go ahead, hit me up at Astro World, that's A S T R O W E R L D at gmail.com, and we can go ahead and get you squared away on today. Okay, so today is going to be a continuation of my Fantasia video. Okay, so everybody knows this whole Fantasia situation that's been going on, this submission issue. She hopped on the Breakfast Club and basically said that okay I believe women should submit to their husband and in my comment section okay in my Fantasia video I noticed a pretty fair amount of you guys agreed with her sentiment okay so here's my issue on that whenever people describe what they look at a uh, submission to be it's always something different okay I read you the definition if you haven't seen that Fantasia video, feel free to watch it. Check it out. I actually read the definition of submission, which is to yield to a superior force or an authority figure, okay? That's just what it is. Now, if you feel like your husband has authority over you and he, you know, like you just have to submit to his will and whatever, then that's fine. But a lot of people describe it to be something else. And if it's something else, then just call it a different word. OK, why not call it cooperation? Why not call it trust? But that's just me going off on a tangent. I really came here for the cosmic tea. OK, so. Since last video, I happened to come across Fantasia Husband's um, birthday and I was able to pull up his birth chart. And of course, you already know, like, <laughs> we're going to get into it. But before I do that, OK, there are a couple of things that I wanted to touch on as it pertains to Fantasia's birth chart that I didn't um, cover in my previous video. Number one, OK. Fantasia has a Sagittarius South node and that Sagittarius South node makes her somebody who is number one, very religious. So it backs and supports a lot of that cancer energy that's going on in her chart. But also it can make her somebody who is very preachy. Okay. Very, very, very preachy, which is why she gets in like a one decent relationship and she feels like she needs to tell everybody else like what it takes to be in, in a good relationship like sis just relax okay and furthermore um as i was speaking on when i was talking about her pluto being at the 29th degree of libra uh with it squaring her moon sis is definitely getting cheated on uh, and i'm pretty sure behind the scenes they have some like serious issues and all marriages do have issues to a certain extent but it's definitely not what they are portraying it to be and you know i'm going to take it even a step further to even say that they're not going to last and this is reinforced with her having a birth number of 30 as they could point towards somebody who has a partner that bails out on them. OK, somebody who can just leave you high and dry, a partner that doesn't want to be tied down in the long run. Uh, it could cause upheavals, all kinds of upheavals in relationships. It's also supported by her Sagittarius South Node and her south node being conjoined to uranus doesn't help either because it can create for somebody who has like a a disloyal partner or who attracts disloyal people sudden upheavals but then it could also point towards her attracting gay men mm -hmm. we're gonna get to that Okay, and, and y'all can hop in the comment section and call me hater, a hater and call me a this and that. And I say this completely independent of my personal opinion, just looking at the components of her chart. And now that I have Mr. Kendall's chart in front of me, it's very much solidified. Also, <laughs> I thought Fantasia was illiterate. 
and it's, I shouldn't be laughing at this, but you know, I also see that in her chart with her North Node and Gemini being conjoined to her Chiron. This is a little slow. So there's only going to be so much that you're going to tell me about relationships that it, like to where I'm going to actually take your advice. So that's that on that. Now, moving right along to Mr. Kendall. Kendall was born on August 10, 1980. Uh, birth time unknown, but he was born in Germany. Now, this makes him a Leo son. Not only is he a Leo, he is actually a hardcore Leo with his son. Um, and his, well, his son is definitely conjoined to his North Node. But he has a Leo stellium as well with his sun, moon, and Mercury all in Leo. Which can make him somebody who is very bossy, very egotistical. And it supports that mentality of like him wanting to be treated like a king. Him wanting to be the head of the household. So, you know, I wouldn't even be surprised if he put a lot of these ideas it's a fantasia's head and that could also be reinforced with her chiron opposing her uranus so yeah i wouldn't be surprised if she's literally being the mouthpiece and that's that gemini energy too being the mouthpiece for somebody else's thoughts or somebody else's ideas like you can tell like her whole mentality uh on marriage and relationships like it's giving him such an ego boost, especially as a Leo North Node. Also, okay, um, by the way, his Venus is at the second degree of cancer, which can make him a super emotionally needy, whiny as husband. It could also produce a man who has no qualms about being supported by women, like financially, or taking money from women. And the fact that his Venus is conjoined to her son really reinforces that so at this point it's like he could even be the type of person like to take her money and budget her money be a cheapskate with her money tell her how to spend her money and of course she's gonna go along with it because she's the neck right like okay neck <laughs> And it also doesn't help that Fantasia's son is opposing her Jupiter, all right, in Capricorn, which can deal with her having a husband who is rather opportunistic in nature. So, I mean, all the signs are there. Uh, his son is squaring his Chiron, which is at the 18th degree of Taurus. The number 18 can produce somebody who is uh, either very materialistic or somebody who is just very um, opportunistic uh, or somebody who just has some very nasty character flaws. It can also produce hypersexuality as well. But, you know, this aspect can point towards him being very willful, point towards him being a straight up tyrant, bossy in the home. This is also reinforced with his Mars squaring well it's his mars is actually conjoined to his pluto and libra so yeah like it, there's no doubt he's wearing the pants in that relationship very bossy but fantasia is naturally going to be very accommodating to that so i guess but some other tea that i wanted to get into you know <laughs> to piggyback on my earlier sentiments of him being i feel like he's gay or at the very least, bisexual. And like I said, when it comes to Fantasia's chart, her urine is conjoined to her, south, her Sagittarius South Node definitely supports her attracting queer men. But, you know, surprise, surprise, Homeboy has an Aquarius South Node. And Aquarius is the sign of homosexuality. So there's that. This is also reinforced with his Uranus is at the, 21st degree of Scorpio, okay, and it's squaring his son, and that could deal with him, I mean, being bisexual, gay, or having some type of same-sex attraction that he uh, attempts to hide or cover up. His Uranus is opposing his Chiron, and I mean, it could also make him very fake, too, somebody who is super fake, super fake, and even his Mars conjoined to his uh, Pluto and Libra, that could even point towards some rather um, iffy 
sexual tendencies, you know? And with Fantasia having her Scorpio Mars uh, conjoined to her Saturn, that can absolutely support or deal with her having a husband that has a lot of secrets. So I mean, like... Any way you want to slice the pie, it's a hot mess. Like I said, y'all can hop in the comment sections and get in your feelings about it. But I'm just telling the truth. Now, whether or not Fantasia is aware of his sexuality, I don't know. Um, Probably not. Like I said, she's a little slow. But God bless him, okay? And um, yeah, I just, I just could not let this tea pass me by. <laughs> so that concludes my follow-up reading. And I, with that being said, I'm done. Okay. I'm done with this neck in her head. All right. Yeah. I'll drop down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of the reading as well as any suggestions you may have for future celebrity readings. Make sure you practice unconditional self-love so that you can love others. And until the next video, I holla. <laughs>